What is up guys? It is Mix Monday. Um, I wanted to show you a plugin that I use to make drums basically sound better. Um, there's a, a song that I'm mixing right now that has a kick drum and it says kick trigger. So I'm going to play you basically what that sounded like when it came in. Oh man, I gave it away, but that's okay. Here. So you hear that clicking? So that clicking, it wants it to trigger to get another sound. Now trigger is an actual plugin and it's super cool. It's by Steven Slate. And what it does is it basically analyzes the transients where the waveform is and anytime the kick hits, it's gonna trigger another sound. So in this plugin, it's just drums. There's snares, there's, you can go into browser, there's snares, there's uh, kick drums, there's even presets, there, there's toms, there's, there's a whole bunch of stuff. So you'll see that I, at the bottom here, they give you a whole mix window too to like mess with the sound. So I blended two. I didn't really, I don't really touch any of these too much because then I just work in the, in the, in main Pro Tools to like do everything. Um, makes it a little bit more easier for me. Just have one signal and then I can do with it what I want. Um, so these are the kick drums that I have. Now it went from that. So I'm gonna play you with what it sounds like without it one more time. Now I'm gonna put it in. And if you notice what it's doing, you could see in the, the black screen right here that it's analyzing where the waveform is to re to get that sound, the kick drum sound out. Now I did this actually with all of the drum, but well, not all of the drums, but I did it with the kick, snare, and the two toms. So I'm gonna show you what it sounded like without trigger. I'm just gonna solo the drums because that's what we're doing today, right? Here you go. Decent drum sound, I'm sure if I took hours, I could probably get it to sound decent, except for the, the kick. But I, since you have trigger, why not use it? So we're gonna use trigger, and I'm gonna put trigger on all of the tracks, and I'm gonna find tom sounds, snare sounds. Now, I mean, completely different. It, it's absolutely night and day. If there was anything more uh, extreme than night and day, I would use it. But let's show you what it sounds like without trigger with the whole band. I can't even listen to that. Now we put trigger in. The guitars almost sound better <laughs> like just by having the drums just sound a lot better the other instruments sound better right so then i have over here i have a it's called p drums i have parallel compression basically give it some more punch um but yeah this is trigger it's an awesome plugin um and this is what i use so if you create drums and you record drums in a in a not so fantastic treated room trigger I throw a trigger on it and then all of a sudden it's just drums come to life and it sounds like it was recorded in a multi-million dollar studio. So thank you for tuning in. This one was for Trigger and this is how I do, uh, I get drums to sound really good. Have a good one.